Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Shadows of Reloathing. Last we left off, we were Crystal Dream Lake because I choose to be. I will buy some. I love getting those. Like, grenades. What you got for sale? Just a shovel, I don't need one. Let's see what he has for sale. Yes. I don't need the plunger though. Change my mind about the outhouse, pet store. And that'll do. Yes, I have. Good, good. All is well. <laughs> All right, now we can go to Port Camp. What's this one? No. All you can do with that is sell it. It's useless to you, it's useless to me. Sparks are her only reply. Chernobyl must be broken. Hot wire. Your nimble fingers bypass the broken circuits and trip the door lock. Which will give me this book. Which will give me, uh... Good amount. But wait, what are one of my other stats? Mm, spooky armor can use it. Good touch up, but I don't think I have anything that'll do that for me. Gets high armor. Seems to have blown a fuse. Replace it. You hear a thump as the door's internal lock disengages. See what's behind the door. This strange machine seems to be broken. A nondescript looking locker. Oh, treasure! If you say so. It doesn't 
feel like a treasure to me. Okay. I guess we can go back to the big moist now. Let's go back to Mudhenge. Lady go. Place the compass and really focus on meat again. Now you'll swing smoothly this time to the southern arch. I'm coming, meat. Where am I? Safety deposit box are here unused except for one under the name of Ralia Misery. Gustav's egg. A fabulous Gustav's egg. He thought all these had hatched by now. Deal your moxie and physical damage. Oh, I don't really have. Eh, whatever. That's meat. Dead Sea Scroll. Normally something like this would be priceless, but I bet you'll find a way to sell it. It's trash. No, it's treasure, but not yours. Old onion sandwich. Mm-mm, good. Powdered wig, very nice. Roll of duct tape. Again. Don't, don't, why, why? Altar is overheated from excess compass use and hardened into clay. Accordingly, it's no longer welcome in Mud Hedge and will soon be destroyed. Huh. Never done that before. Never really tried to get a ball of mud before. I dear deer just never really crossed me. See a plume of smoke coming from behind a nearby clump of trees and brush, and as you draw near, the sounds of ragged cackling and giggling can be heard. Could it be a coven of real swamp witches? Sadly, no, but what you do find is even weirder. A gang of scraggly looking swamp hillbilly vampires tending to an old rat still. Oh, hi, you fellas cooking up a batch of corn? Nope. Rats. Ew. Of course, now that you're here, a whole other recipe comes to mind. Is that right?
vampire flesh wand. Ew. You're pretty sure this used to be someone's arm. Huh. Well, that's funny. Earlier there was an old bushy bearded man in the treehouse, now there is. Not ha ha funny, perhaps, but ha ha? Harp hat? Why, Mrs. Me? It's Will Hunter. It worked. You lifted the curse with nothing more than some brush and paint and a brush. Har hap? I feel like laughing too. Ain't never been so full of joy. Not ever. Are you alright? Alright, look at me. I can wiggle my toes and wriggle my hips. Wiggle, wriggle my, wiggle my toes and wet my nose. I got bones in my hips and blood in my lips. I'm a boy again. I got the old flesh back, miss. Taint never been better. That's great, Will. Only thing is, I still got tree stop coming out when I sneeze, but that's a different curse. Can I help you with that one? Nah, the thing is, that curse you can only be lifted with the power of imagination, which, as an adult, you've lost. Why are you old? Old? Will Hunter, old? Ha <laughs> ha! I tell you what, miss, you're only as old as you feel. How old do you feel? Early 70s. Will pats his gaunt stomach. Suppose I have packed on the years. Kept on growing up while I was in that tree. Some ways I was probably better off staying in a tree, because I, then I could have just lived about forever. But no, I gotta be human else. Can I do my wish? What mischief? Various mischiefs. Can you give me an example? I may have skipped out on Sunday school once or twice. Anything else? Stole a horse from the station. Never heard of a horse station. Because it ain't there no more. What do you do now? It's been a while, but I seem to remember that on the day I was supposed to be out while watching that friend instead I went trout fishing. I was also due to down to the courthouse to help a man wrongly accused of murder. How long ago was this? July? What year? I'd say 1876. It's 1928. Yikes, reckon I shouldn't stop for breakfast then. Let's hope no trout distracts you on your way. Why, heard about something? Well, I better be off. Hold on now, you got me out of that tree, ma'am, and Will Hunter won't let that go unrewarded. Warrant? That's warrant I said. I want you to have this. It's just my greatest treasure, the shiniest thing Will Hunter got. Shut enough crystal. Uh, gee, thanks, Will. Pleasure, that's a real good marble, too. You can play with it, keep it in your pocket, or put it in your mouth to talk worse. I think I'm just gonna go now. He's weird. And old, but mostly weird. All of a sudden, you hear a Gatorman screaming wildly to your left. And then, just suddenly, another Gatorman starts screaming to your right. You hear an angry star behind you, and turn around, another Gatorman. And yes, and you hear someone say "ugh" behind you as you turn around again. There's another Gator Man. You're surrounded. Well, crap. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Do. 
Ouch. You on, geez, that'll teach them to not to sneak up on a girl like that. A lot of fish here. State your business. Uh, I'm here about the missing children. Charlie and Kathy, yeah, that's a sad song. You need to talk about to either uh, Mr. Chapman or Mr. Tracy about that. But when they either don't know that you've been talk speaking to the other bosses, they don't talk anymore. Why don't the bosses talk to each other anymore? Between you and me and 3,600 large mouth bass, Mr. Chapman and Tracy haven't been on speaking terms since Mr. Chapman was snubbed at the Academy Awards a few years back. They only tolerate each other because they perform vital functions of the business, which is... Mr. Tracy debones the fish and Re Chapman rebones them. Only then are the fish ready for a sale and market. You saying they take out the fish's bones and put them back in? It's tradition. For generations, Mr. Chapman deboned the bass and Tracy reboned them. That unique process was it gives our bass a distinctive tang. What happened to the kids? You ask me? That's what I just did. Hell, they ran off. This life isn't for everybody. Tom and Kathy never had to make us a largemouth bass deboner or a reboner. Uh, I'll just be going then. Admiring the fish. This grizzled mariner must hate being stuck behind a desk. Greetings, the mariner. Do you hate being stuck behind a desk? Excuse me, I make six pieces a year behind this desk. Mind your manners, you're dressing Adam Tracy. You're deboner at large. Large mouse bath and such. You real Kathy? Yeah, I saw some pictures, yeah. That's right, three nights ago, Kathy disappeared along with all her clothes, possessions, and the contents of that safe there in the company truck. Oh, and the Chapman kid. Don't think she might have run away from home. I'll excuse the remark that you don't know my Kathy, but suffice to say that is impossible. Kathy loves large mouth bass almost as much as assuming brief ordained roles in a multi generation filling business. No, Kathy would not simply leave home. It's a much simpler explanation. Hawkman's Gator. Hawkman's Gator? A monstrous gator, centuries old, ten feet tall if he's an inch, with scales as blue as the deepest ocean. He has two tails, each as sharp as a razor, and he's not afraid to shave you. His appetites are insatiable. He'll strike at night and gobble up our fish, guns, tax returns, whatever. And now I fear my cat. I don't know what we did to provoke his ire, but that piece is bullied and bothered our business since my grandfather was in toddler pants. Sometimes I think the swamp itself is something to be our tormentor. If Octums ate Kathy, aren't we too late? Not necessarily. Octum, it's only handicap is his glacially slow digestive system. Go ask Sylvester, guard of ours. Swallowed up by Octums, stripped off in his belly and was stripped off in his belly and greased his body in Octum's own fat. He was able to uh, so they're out of Ackman's jaw while the great beat stayed asleep. Okay. Where can I find Sylvester? Dunno, we had to terminate him for attempting to unionize. That means Ackman's Gator ate Kathy? Got to understand, for decades, Ackman's Gator has been the sole author of this business for fortune. Wait. Eat a child? Absolutely, that's his M.O. or monstrous operenda. Uh, Ackman's Gator sounds made up. And made up about a giant blue gator who eats guns. One of our guards actually saw Augment's gator. He even took a shot at him. Conventional weapons have no effect. Are you saying you haven't seen Augment's gator? I've seen the destruction he's wrought. I've certainly seen that. Is there a finder's fee? 300 meat in my grandfather's fishing rod. But I'm running the show, alright? Not Chapman. I know he's got a missing boy too, but you can't involve a reboner in an operation like this. Far too emotional. If you're dealing with me, then keep him out of me. Okie dokie. Good. Now, Peter, our guard by the front gate, was the last to see Aquaman's gator in the sickening flesh. Peter chased him off our property to a revolting little hamlet, but dared not enter himself. I'll mark it on your map. I'm convinced that's where you'll find Aquaman's and inside Aquaman's cat. I'll be on my way then. Empty to magnify the misfortune of my stolen daughter. Any chance your daughter could open the safe? Possible. I never told her the combination was three. How do you do this? 
I can't prove it yet, but I'll be damned Armors Gator did not have his claws in this. When this happened, three nights ago, I'm still in shock. I can't even muster the strength to close the safe. I can do that for you. Would you? Sure. Bless you. Mess through there. Oh, I don't mind. I don't think it's messy. I'm saying that it's a room where we have meal type of mess. I only really use that term in armed forces. If you don't consider fishing to be part of the armed forces, what do you think we use to hold the rod? Arms? That's right. Takes, it says, take a bottle of bass oil. Take a bottle of bass oil. Why, right, it's glued to the table. Bottles creates the whole thing. And now you notice the reverse in the sign, which reads, if you can. I'm sure that I can. How's that? Oh, you break the bonds of glue with a satisfying thwomp. I gotta take that sign, too. Fridge. I'm not gonna eat it. You get a status effect. A negative status effect if you do. This door is locked, which makes this room even more disappointing. Kathy's letter. A letter from Kathy Tracy addressed only to Dad. The post office will never be able to deliver that. The Austria betting testifies to Tracy family's rigorous ad executive. One must purge body and mind of all comfort and distraction to achieve the hyper focus of bass fishermen. Search the bed. Such secret candies? A bass fisherman would not be vulnerable to such sedimentation. Times are tough at large. Mouth bass and sons, the pillows are in short supply. Spartan enters holds no secrets. A look at the pillow. Sixteen teeth. Two fairies skip the swamp for a while. Uh, found these teeth under the pillow? Yes, those are mine. You believe in the tooth fairy? No. Sealed, he slid it open with ease. Dad, all anyone cares about in this family is largemouth bass. Well, I'm sick of it. Ain't I a person? Ain't I deserving of being cared about too? I'm leaving, Dad, for a place where dreams are possible. You ain't never gonna find me because you don't know where that is. Look, Kathy. P.S. Hi to Mom. You need to see this. Uh, um, Tracy pours over the letter, his brow sinking into deeper furrows with each line. Ain't never? Ain't I? My friend, these are the vulgar contradictions of Arkham's Gator. I didn't give Kathy a copy of Jan Eyre to have her contract improperly. No, this letter is an obvious ruse, friend. Arkham's clumsy attempt to throw off off the scent. Face the tiger, your docket. Turn around from home. I've yet to see any evidence of that. I'll be on my way then. A viscous puddle re reflects a glooming face. Talk to him. The puddle or the man? Puddle, please. Hello, sir. Can't understand you. Puddle. I'll talk to you then. You left me. Who left you? Amphibious truck. Oh, so not a person. No, I'm more interested in amphibious trucks. So what happened to your truck? Our truck. It's the company truck we used to take the fish to market. A couple of nights ago, I forgot to fill her up before bed. I must have ticked her off because the next morning she was gone. No, no, nothing. Are you suggesting this truck is sentient? It's funny, I thought wouldn't have thought so, but I can't see any explanation for it running off the way it has. Does it have something to do with the missing kids? Tom and Kathy, you'd have to talk to Mr. Chapman or Mr. Tracy about that. Maybe they took the truck? I don't know, seems like a stretch. When did the mi children go missing? Same day as the truck, but I think that's probably coincidence. Where's this pu What's this puddle here? It's the gas I never gave her that night. It's here now. It's here now in our special place. Waiting for her. Waiting for her to come home. Is it working? Obviously you can see that it is not. How far could someone have gone in that truck? The gas left dinner? Couldn't have gone further than a hundred miles. A hundred miles? Okay. 
No, a hundred. Sorry, a hundred is fisherman length. It means eleven. See truck, huh? That's a shame. She'll be back. Gas come back. She'll run out of gas otherwise, and then where will she be? Good luck with the truck. I gotta go. Yellow. Yeah, hello. hello there. You are. I wonder, do you ever wish you had a glorious death at sea? Oh, oh many a sea trooper tried to give me one, miss. Before they get their teeth in me, I've reboned them six ways to Sontag. He spits a wad of chewing tobacco out of the door. Wow, it's a good shot. Guy Chapman, Chief Reboner Officer, Large Mouth Bass and Sons. You must be losing the one I heard thrown in our lot with that wolf deboner next door. Oh, I was surprised I didn't know your name. Well, the large mouth bass have ears. I'd like to talk about your son. Not sure I want to discuss my uh, some of the Confederate Kathy Tracy, that Jezebel of a deboner daughter. She's a delinquent sorceress who never cared for Walt. Cared a Walt Whitman for what we do here with large mouth bass, and he's led my Tom into the belly of Ackman's Gator. You don't think he could have run away on his own? Absolutely not. Tom's a third generation bass boy. Proud of him. Why, just this month he said. I'm excited about my future in reboning in large mouth bass. Bass dad. Does that sound like the words of a boy with one foot out the door? No, there's a simpler explanation. The siren song of Kathy Tracy who lures good men into the bellies of gators. Oh, I've heard of the gator. As long as there's been a large mouth bass and sons, there's been an Ackman's gator to our great misfortune. I venture that no creature of Landis be quite so terrible. Twelve feet tall he is, red as a furnace with smoke billowing from his nostrils. He and his raptorous appetites are a plague in our business. He'll eat everything we got. Large mouth bass, everything. Keep me up at night wondering what we did to deserve him. The sin against the land to debone and rebone fish? Perhaps. Perhaps. But damn it, what, that's what gives our bass its zing. That's all I really want to talk about. Busying it. Must be nice, right? It is. We're proudly serve rebone fish just the way we like it. I don't want to hear you slipping any bones out of that fish here. Can I go inside? I don't see any need for that. That's a failure of imagination on your part. I'll live. At your quarters? And how would you know that? No, that's where Mr. Tracy has his. Maybe the two of you are more similar than I like to admit. Back off, fruit. Can I go inside? Into our family's private quarter, I'd sooner let her dogfish loose in my socks. Is that a thing you do? Rarely. What lies beyond that door is only for fishermen. What is it? Fish. Can I fish here? Ah! It's the key. him. Oh, I've been looking for this guy forever. Suddenly, a tuft of swamp shrubbery, shrubbery parts, and a gator man pops out, glaring at you. He doesn't seem immediately hostile, but you're wary. Uh, hello? Human? How human? Well, uh, both my parents smell wrong, not human stink. Check your pits. You smell basically normal as far as you can tell. Dark stink, shadow stink. Huh, you know about the shadow stuff. Shadow good, good stink, like stink. Well, it's a real roller coaster of a conversation. I follow. Kill enemies. Eat enemies. Name Alphonse. Can I call you Al? No. Can you stop yelling? Crap. Fine. Now take him with me now. Hey, Gabby, mind waiting up for me at the purple door? Okay, you have it. I have never been able to get this guy till now. That's why you needed to keep messing with those doors. What the? Get his talking chart and start sniffing around. You almost certainly notice if you get any closer. Well, feck it then. Let's get to murdering. Good boy, Deuce. I thought I'd get an achievement for finding Alphonse. He's the 
the last companion you can get. Hmm. Oh well. Chomp Gator Man. And much muncher for eight damage and recover three. Nice. No. Turned out these gators should have been avoiding you. I am the terror that stalks the swamps. you do that? What do you got against Deuce? Tail reducing stats by seven. Ooh, should have done that. Now he's pathetic. Alphonse is a powerful ally. Catch the guard gators and your path forward is clear. I have done nothing wrong. The handle in this fridge is busted. It's gonna be a headache to open come lunchtime. Try to open the door. No dice. No door opening either. Whoever smashed in the handle wanted to keep you out or maybe keep something in. A magical talking sandwich, maybe. Force it open. Great effort to force open the door. Released from his refrigerated cage, a cold pant and squints out into the muck. Squirms out into the muck, gasping for air. Oh my god, you are my savior. One more day trapped in there and I was come complete, completely to despair. Who are you? I'm Fabian, an illustrator of the natural sciences. Arid steps, glittering bergs of ice. But lately my interest of taking me to these swamp, these damp lands. I'm in my sake period. Yeah. How do you get in there? I was traveling to the swamp to sketch the native cypress only to be caught in the net by those great, grotesque gator men. First they allowed me to roam within the confines of this camp, but when I shouted for help from a passing truck, I was put into the refrigerator. What truck? Oh, I heard through the camp like a bass out of hell. It was, uh, boy and a girl at the wheel and I called out, stop, I am a prisoner, take me with you. But they drove on. What kind of person does that? Where was the truck headed? North of here, I'm sure. North, huh? And, this, and that driver at large mouth bass and the sons was confident the truck could only make it 11 miles at most. Just the track 11 feet doesn't happen. Fishery. See, is with deductive before you do some quick calculations which in your haste come out very wrong. You do them again, not rushing this time, and produce a promising lead. Yeah, goodbye. I do want to leave, that is a good guess. If we ever meet again, it would honor me to you paint your portrait. I'm an artist, as you know, but I cannot paint you right away, it's in my soggy period. But if I can conclude, if I conclude that work, or if you become soggy, well, who knows? Who knows indeed? I could put on the hat, but then he just laughing. 
sleeping gator man. Unless he's lying about being asleep, do not let him lie. Okay, if you say so, what would you like to do as an alternative to letting this gator man keep continue sleeping? Just search him. You reach into the water and carefully grope the gator man's pockets. At least you hope those are pockets. You find a scrap of paper. It's the combination to a gator man's safe. Three numbers are too repulsive to even display here. Dial in the horrible combination open the safe. Hooray for meat. Hi there. This gator man seems less aggressive than... Wait, I know. I need to do something. Do not question me. Hi there. Greet human, not eat. Greet. Thanks, I appreciate that. You seem a bit more relaxed than the rest of the gator food. Yes, everyone crazy. Dunno reason. Not belong. Leave swamp. Where will you go? Dunno? Wander? Oh, like a hobo? Hobo, what that? Basically someone who travels from place to place because they're looking for work or don't have any place specific to be? Yes, hobo gator. First, though, need weapon. Defend self. Offer him a weapon. It doesn't have to be a, um, a gator stick or anything. But it does need to be over 6 damage. Not over 6 damage. 6 damage or over. Yes, good. Weapon strong. Safe now. Thank you, human. No problem. You know, there's a bunch of... Hobos collecting in a camp outside of Ocean City. They're pretty accepting people. I don't think they mind you joining. Must be handy. Need to have some muscle around the place. Sound good. I go. He waves and stomps out the door. Bye. Raid the refrigerator. Horrible looking weapons. A rusty gator blade. video here. I am the Blues32. This is uh, Shadows Over Loathing. TTFN. Ta-ta for now. I'm so glad I've got Alphonse now. 